We're back at the Rammy Ram Skitter build. We'll refurbish. Just looking at a bunch of stuff here. This whole fill pipe comes out. That's not good. Gonna have to fix that. It's loose down there. Pry that out a little bit. Water pump is hosed. The bearing on it's done. We're gonna have to go over this whole thing. Looks like somebody did some fancy work to the motor mounts here. Put some rubber pads in there. Have to design a new floorboard or footboard. New belt, some new rad hoses gonna be coming in. Check this all out. A couple of loose U joints in there. That's well balanced. Look at that, eh? All right. Let's get this water pump off. If I can just pop a new bearing in that. Let me open that over there. This filler tube. This filler tube, these get sort of depressed in more or less. And there's usually a clamp up on this end that kind of holds it. You can kind of see where there was one at one time. But it's gone now. So we'll see if we can't fix this. Just found this old exhaust insert. I'm gonna fit it in here. See if I can't just sort of stretch that out a wee bit. That'd be a bit much. And when I overexpanded it, I just put this socket in there and just tapped along this edge. Just made her pretty dandy. So Kai's taken out that uh, drive shaft with a bad U-joint in it. Real pain in the butt. Looks like they tried to weld the bolts in, or maybe it was original welds. So it's hard to get a wrench on it, and the other nuts are just beat. And I'm trying to get, well I did it already, the oil pan down here. Let me see if I can get a light. The oil drain is right down in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it only go. there are no holes in the bottom of this rig, so... like Tetris. You see that? Did you just, you saw that. That's on camera. Nice. I tightened up all the control linkages. They were really loose. The only thing I can't figure out is how to drain this fluid. There is a plug in the back to top it up with, but no idea. I do have a manual somewhere, so I'm going to look and see if I can find it. Right now, I'm just using more or less siphon to, to pull that fluid out of there. And it looks like it's about 80 or 90 weight, 80, 90. And that's a half an hour. It doesn't look too good. I've seen worse. Drain the engine oil. Now we'll pop the, uh, is there a drain plug on here? Yes. That's next. We'll drain the, all that transmission fluid. Look at that. How much fluid can be in there? 
I don't think a whole lot. Small tranny. Never small. This is the baby tranny. And there's our tranny fluid. Looking a little water impregnated. A little bit of moisture in it. Yep. Ah, no problem. While we're waiting for fluids to drain, this is kind of going to be our cockpit. I don't know if you can see that. We got our seat raised up a wee bit. We're going to have to rejig our pedals, but we'll do that once this is all mounted. We'll have our back part of our cage with a screen. And then we have Matt here. He's our uh, technical consultant and uh, design engineering guy. He's designing. Um, I kind of really dig this. I think this is a great idea, this logging arch or skidding arch. But the logs hit the wheels or the track, and I don't like that. So he's developing a little gizmo that sort of just burp, does one of these, comes down, and it runs off the hydraulic pump. So just burp, burp, just like that. Because we have the original hydraulic pump that goes on this motor. So that is the plan. Radiator's getting rebuilt. The axle is going to get rebuilt. Or the uh, drive shaft, sorry. Uh, ordering a bunch of new parts. And that's pretty much it for the day. We've just sort of been draining fluids. We need to get the uh, diff fluid out next. And this is the... This is the, uh, the fluid out of the rear gearbox. Kind of gross, but kind of cool at the same time. So that should hopefully be drained by, by the morning. It's a little thick. That's a good day. Got some stuff done, right? We're trying to figure out, you know, if some part on this blows that doesn't make it economically feasible to redo it or rebuild it, or maybe not even possible to rebuild it, how to put a hydrostatic system in this. Little diesel with uh, pumps and drives, and I think it'd be great. I think it'd be really cool. Like what they have in the sidewalk plows now, they're all hydro hydrostatic, right? Little, little uh, probably diesels in them, I don't even know. But that's a wrap for the day. That is a wrap. Keep coming back, we have more cool stuff coming up.